Okay, okay, guys. Uh, hello and welcome to my first video tutorial on how to make some C++ programs. Uh, to get st to to start off, you're going to need a compiler, a IDE or integrated development environment, or um, the main GW files or just the G++ files if you're running Linux. I run Linux on my PC. I'm just using my uh, brother's PC right now to show you a tutorial on Windows as it's the most widely used system but anyway um some uh, uh, integrated development environments would be these at the side these Microsoft compilers the visual compilers or dev C++ which I recommend for Windows users it's quite good for console applications um, but once you move on to well if you move on to Windows applications um the visual is much quicker and um, easier to use um yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, grab yourself a, a, a compiler online. Just Google Dev C++ if you're if you're wanting that, uh, you know. Or get the Express Edition compilers. Okay, then to start off, we're going to uh, open up Dev C++. This PC is a couple of years old. It's quite quite slow. Close this tip here. Okay, this is the Dev C++. Obviously, has a GUI, a graphical user interface. This is your drop-down bars at the top and your toolbars here. This is just open a new project file. Um, new project. That's a uh, open some source code, source file. This is just click new, new source file, new project, new resource file, or new template. Insert, toggle, and go to. Uh, we're going to start a new project. Going to name it Blog Tutorial HW1, which is Hello World 1, and we're going to make it a console application as the description is a MS DOS window. You can, of course, make it a Windows application, which is just basically what we're using right now static library, a DLL file, and an empty project. Here you've got an introduction, this is a uh, built in Hello World for you to maybe study the source code and a multimedia file which we'll move on to later in my C tutorials. Okay, so console application, make sure you're writing C++ unless you want to write C. I'll do some tutorials on that later, but make sure you've got C++ stack. Don't need to make the default language and okay. Save. And you will find that you have preprocessor direct preprocessor directives. You're using namespace std and uh, your main function, your system pod, and your return x success. We're just going to delete that and show you how to make it um, by yourself coding because it's not every compiler. Or in fact, if you're running from DOS or terminal, then you won't have that built in. Okay, we're going to start off with uh, sharp. Include IO stream, which is a preprocessor directive, just basically getting the main GW files to run a console application. You're then going to type using namespace std semicolon, which basically means that you don't have to write std before all your std needed fi uh, functions like cout or std and l you don't need to write that just need to write c out and end l but anyway moving on uh, we're going to make a main function here and main open bracket close bracket and move down to type this is just simple hello world program c out two of these greater than signs you may or may not recognize them. I want a QWERTY keyboard, it's down at the bottom middle right, if, if you're getting it. I'm going to open quotation marks and type Hello World, the classic first application. Then these two, sign, these two, these, they two signs again. End L, which is end line, 
semicolon. End line basically just ends the line and C out just outputs. Hit return and then type return uh, at zero semicolon and close the function. That is an application that will run. There's nothing wrong with that. That's perfectly well written code. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, I'll just show you. Not on this. This is quite a slow computer. Um, yeah, I'm actually not going to make my screen of that. Quite a slow computer, so it might take a while to compile. I'm going to be doing a series of uh, video tutorials and text tutorials on my blog um, www.c++ for noobs.wordpress.com is the domain name or sorry the URL since it's not my own domain name I'll be moving to my own domain name sometime soon slow computers and there we are you've seen the program open and close executed every piece of code here without stopping everything's fine and you may notice you say well you say yourself, well it's not much good if my program opens for less than a second and closes how's that going to be any good and you're right dev c++ should have a built-in thing but it doesn't have a built-in system pause feature for your console applications so you've got it right yourself code that tells your system to pause, which is extremely simple, system, pause, semicolon, to tell the compiler that it is, is the end of your line. Quite simple, what it basically does is right here, it executes all the code here, outputs that, but pauses before it returns zero, which basically tells your operating system return zero, which is a billion, zero is false, and exits the program, it stops the code execution before you reach return zero and so if you compile and run at this time hopefully a bit faster so I'll zoom back or not And you find that you get a hello world, this here. You, the end says press any key to continue. That is, if you press the key, it will unpause the system and the code will further execute, executing this line, which returns zero and as you'll see here, closes the program. Okay guys, uh, thanks for watching, uh, that's my first tutorial. Remember to go to www.c++4noobs.wordpress.com